Hello, I'm Mike McKeith, Bishop of the North Texas Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church. Since January 1st of this year, annual conferences from around the world have taken turns one week at a time, praying for the future of the United Methodist Church. Now it is our turn. I invite you and all United Methodists in North Texas to be united in praying our way forward beginning on Sunday, November the 19th, and continuing through Saturday, November 25th. I hope all of us together from the more than 300 churches of the North Texas Conference will take part in this week of prayer. Specifically, I ask you to focus your intentional prayers on the mission of the United Methodist Church to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world and for the work of the commission on a way forward. You may recall... The commission was proposed by the Council of Bishops and approved at the 2016 General Conference. It is a 32-member group of individuals, clergy, and laity with representation spanning nine countries and different theological interpretations regarding human sexuality. Over the course of its meetings the last year, the commission has thoroughly examined and prayerfully considered these concerns and a way forward for the church. Their recommendations will be presented to the Council of Bishops in advance a special call general conference in February of 2019. And the richness of our denomination is that we are a global church with a diversity of thoughts. Now ask this question of yourselves. Despite our differences, how is God calling us to the unity that Jesus prayed for us in the Gospel of John, the 17th chapter, verses 20 through 23? I do not ask, Jesus prayed, on behalf of these alone, but for those also who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. The glory which you have given me, Father, I have given to them, that they may be one just as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be perfected in unity, so that the world may know that you sent me and love them, even as you have loved me. On the North Texas Conference website, specific prayers for each day can guide your thoughts and your prayers. Power of prayer has the capacity to bring groups together. And during this week of prayer, listen for God's leadership. Search for ways to unify us. We are at a historic time for our church, but we have the unique opportunity to collectively create a culture in which we can honor each other and our different perspectives. My hope is that this week of prayer will open our hearts and minds to God's love and help us identify the convergence of covenant, justice, righteousness, and unity. And may God bless you and your continued discipleship and faithfulness to our God. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you do. And thank you for what you will do. God bless you.